Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Wazzy Watches. I'm Wazzy Wazmeister, and today we're watching Random Choice. Uh, I literally was looking through some of the ideas that I had and some things that I heard people had mentioned in the past, and I landed on... I was stuck between the faculty, which I've never seen, obviously, and Cherry Falls... So I decided on Cherry Falls. There's quite a few movies I've never seen. Uh, you know, you've got the Urban Legends, Shining, stuff like that I've never seen. And I will get to them, as well as any other movies. There's like a big list of them. But uh, the one I've chosen today is Cherry Falls. Um, the friend that was talking to me about this movie tells me it's about, instead of, you know, virgins being the survivors in this, apparently you have to have sex to survive and the killer kills virgins and doesn't kill people that aren't virgins I'm assuming that's the whole point of Cherry Falls being the name because pop your cherry so let's uh, watch this movie for, for the first time essentially popping our movie cherry Sanctuary Oh, it's actually called Cherry Falls the Town. Oh, I just thought it was like a fun name to do with the whole sex aspect of it. My bad. Repopulate my desolate planet. I mean Does he now relax? Yeah. Some weird foreplay. Home without accomplishing my mission. I said stop. Is so. Oh. oh. Sup, Nova. Oh, Supernova. What the fuck is this? That is a car with its lights on. Mark, is that you in there? Bob? <laughs> oh, that's never gonna die. Who the hell is that? He's not surviving. Don't open that door. <laughs> Don't open that door. Nope. Oh my god. I don't know what just happened. It's right up there with global warming. <laughs> Are you uh, not experienced this heat wave we've had over the past few days, tell you? We've been dating for about a year, and I really don't think it's working out. All right? Hi, Mom. Kenny, you wouldn't happen to have a cigarette for me, would you? I'm going to have to smoke this here. <laughs> Brent doesn't like me to smoke in the house. What is... What? what? Is Dad still up? My, we're out late tonight, huh? So is this goodbye or good night? I think that's up to you. Uh, goodbye. Mm-hmm. Slam the door. I'd have smashed the bloody window, never mind slammed the bloody door. Dumping somewhere because they won't have sex with you, you absolute animal. I oh, like them like inflatable photo frames you've got there, love. Do you know? <gasps> Most sixth graders can stay out later than I can. They're not the sheriff's daughter. <laughs> yeah, but also, why would you just stand in the dark in her room waiting for her to get in? What if she was going to be like, even longer. What if she was going to be out there for hours? You were just going to stand there for hours in the dark, waiting? Okay. Bit obsessive. 
There's been a matter. I don't understand why the need to walk with your arm out like that. Yeah, I had to stop him just in case he couldn't see my car or that car there. There's nothing else around. He wasn't going to miss it. I found the boy face down in the water. About a million stab wounds in him. All this was done to her while she was still alive. Oh. God. I want you to talk to your dad and Snoop Dogg for me. You know what I'm saying? Timmy, I don't have a Snoop clue Dogg. what you're talking about. I don't have a clue what he's talking about. Break up! Wake up! They're dead! They flatlined. They shuffled off the mortal coil. Oh, hey, look. Maybe there's something for my incredibly pathetic gossip column after all. Ooh. I know him. Oh, He's in um Aliens. Cancel all the regular classes for the day and ask the teachers to counsel. Terminator. Perhaps some of you feel guilty that you weren't nicer to Rod and Stacy while they were alive, or maybe you're Hey J Moir Ma In the eighth grade I had a fight with Rod. And I told him to fuck off and die. Hey, come on, guys. It's all right, Heather. And he was in Go he's in Ghost Whisperer, him and Small Soldiers. Hey, it's DJ Qualls. He's in Supernatural and a few other movies. Two of your fellow students. Rod Harper and Stacy Twelfth. I can hear the like squeak of his clothes. The reason I came here was to ask you, as friends and good citizens, to come forward to. <laughs> you watch him eat every single day, and you never so, talk to him. So come my parents on. been there for five years, and all they do. She's dead now, isn't she? In real life. It's uh, Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy? Is that who that is? She was in a uh, eight mile. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, someone's angry. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Huh? What's going on here? She's full on just like laying into him. It's a very dysfunctional school. She thinks fellatio is a character in Shakespeare. <laughs> she wouldn't know a dick if its name was Woody. <laughs> I think these ribs rule. What? Uh, what kind of character is he? Oh, okay. I'm assuming she's a character we've already met before, the killer. She's not gonna... Not gonna kill someone in the... Like, as the... He didn't tell you I was coming by. No. I must have just missed her. Okay, just one sec. Oh, she's gonna kill you! Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, she... Yeah. Oh, Jesus! Slow down, he says, as he, like, runs up the stairs to catch her. Oh, I'm getting scream vibes here. Okay, Dad, is there any way you could give me some mace or maybe a ray gun, stun gun, anything? It's against the law. Looks like we have an encore performance here. Let's look. Got a serial killer on our hands. Annette DeWald was, in fact, a virgin at the time of death. The hymen was intact. Oh, okay. Well, we'll be muting that. <laughs> uh, muting. It would appear that your killer has been quite accurate in the 
application of his signature. About what? It's about you and Kenny. Oh. Go on, you know. Base-wise? <coughs> I'm not a child anymore, Dad. That's normal. I'm not criticizing. Listen, I wouldn't ask you this unless it was absolutely necessary. And it is. Just tell her there's a killer. Are you disappointed that I'm still a virgin? Oh. No. No, not at all. It's, feel, it's very weird. I don't like these conversations. It's a message. Message? I'm gonna kill virgins. For no kids. Not yet. Obviously a kid's gonna sneak in. Find out about it. I finished my T.S. Eliot paper. Great, wow. <laughs> Speed over broken glass in our dry cellar. Oh, are they gonna get like a. Are they gonna have like a little um, thing going on? Do you think that any serious thought that I have is solely attributed to my one misspent year with Kenny Ascot? No, uh, I'm sorry. Embarrassed that I just yelled at you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's none of my business. I'm, I don't, I don't. It's weird, I just saw someone standing there. Come out! Nope, 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 run Jay! Come on, I have to go to this meeting your father organized. Maybe Annette DeWall would be alive today if I'd reveal details about the first two killings. You didn't know until afterwards. Oh. Boo! <sighs> you do oh! oh no. Scoop again. I want to thank you very much for coming out this evening. Honestly. I feel like he's a red herring with his red fingernails. I can't lock my daughter up in the basement. I wouldn't worry about it, Victor. What are you saying about my... The hell of a time to be joking about a thing like this. Hey, hey back off! Oh my god. Your daughter's a slut. Boo! Ah! Yeah, well at least she's safe. <laughs> No, 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 not virgin killer. Virgin killer. I gotta get out of this corridor. Hang on. No! Oh, no. Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that he is dead. Timmy! I need my cell phone back! Timmy's dead. Timmy is dead. Uh, oh, honestly. Why would you? Why would you? You see how dark it is with no lights on? I'd look for a light switch before I walk down there, and it, to be fair, I just won't walk down there. Is he dead? Is he just gonna jump out and appear and be like, oh, I'm fine? <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Oh DL. Oh my god. She is fast. Oh. Oh, that was quite cool. I love how they're covering the face. She's like a, a like an ape or some sort of like crazy monkey person. Oh! Can you make it? 
you make a sheriff? Uh, no. Uh, I feel like you can't make her. Do you know what I did before I killed him? I kissed him. Come on. Like this! <laughs> Someone just wants a bit of fame. Laura Lee Sherman. Tell me that's not her. Oh, gee. She said that. She said that was a name. What did you hear? No, I didn't hear anything. I just picked up the phone to call mom. Guess it's uh. Guess it's really getting to me. It's really killer. <laughs> I. I mean. No, because from the sounds of it, it's your fault and the other guy's fault. Something's going on. You're making it sound like it's some kind of a flu shot. We're talking Hyman Holocaust here. And you cannot leave saving his life up to that slut, Sharon. <laughs> I love how they do it like uh, saving his life. It's okay, Chef. I'll keep the matter. So many red herrings. What if she's the killer herself? And she's imagined the killer. I almost lost you. I don't think I could go on living if I had. Oh, he's full of shit. Don't use your dad as an excuse. I'm not. You're an asshole. I don't like him. Don't go with him. Wait until they try to put their dicks in you. Please don't say they need help with that. Always. Uh. Next thing we have to do is find a psycho who's offing chicks who don't give head. <laughs> this is here in Cherry Falls, Virginia. In the last three days, four teenagers have been killed. <laughs> TV. That's property damage. Technically, when they have sex for the first time and they break a woman's hymen, is that property damage also? <laughs> These are the questions we have to ask people. Is it also classed as breaking and entering? <laughs> Destruction of property? Okay, I'm done. I overheard Daddy talking to Mr. Sizzler, and they mentioned her. No idea who you're talking about. Uh, I think you're lying. I can tell by your face. Oh, I'm not telling me! I'm going to West Virginia. West Virginia? Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. My dog's staring at me. Treat it like any other party. If there's trouble, move in, otherwise, lay off. There'll definitely be some laying involved. There's no way you're reading it that fast. Ah. Right, I don't think it's Laura Lee Sherman. I think it's someone using Laura Lee Sherman as a cover. So I think it's going to be one of Laura Lee Sherman's kids. Or it's going to be her. And it's like a mental break thing. God, Bob! What are you doing here? You get your ass on right now! Bob! Nobody was ever formally charged. Nobody. Yeah. It, the killer is a rape baby. Calling it. And nobody ever saw her again. And that was... 
Long ago. 27 years. You said that there were four men. Your dad. Your dad. He was falling down drunk, but he went to the police then, and then he told them what happened. Laura Lee Sherman, Wallaby Way, Sydney. <laughs> oh, I don't, th I don't think she lives there anymore. Great baby. Called it. Maybe if she'd have been allowed to abort it. Oh, we're hearing like whipping noises. Oh my god, I thought the baby was dead then for a second. Oh. Oh, she's still there. Oh, you bastard. I'm headed back now. Did you find what you were looking for, sir? No. Ooh, I like them lights. Honey, I really need to see you. You're early. How can you hear each other? Oh! My parents are total frauds. Hey, that's the, uh, the shoe that was in the auditorium. Oh my god, is he the killer? Please don't. Mm. Please don't. Please don't. Mm. Mm -hmm. Harder. Mm. <gasps> yeah. That is gross. Get that cheesy fucking toe out of your mouth. What's wrong, Kenny? Can't you decide? Oh my god, is she is she the killer? Was I right? I just want you to be with me. Because you wanna be with me. I don't need some stupid kid sex party. I should start looking for you around every corner, eavesdropping, snooping, and sneaking about. Why? She seems to have changed her tune. Um, if you're gonna, I don't want to see you again! It's over! I don't understand why she's all of a sudden changed her tune the way she has. Is she the killer? Must be near a killer reveal now. Ah! Well, you take the north side, you take the rear. Oh, you get the south. Today, they've only been killed now that she's found out about it. So, is she the killer? You look uh, voluptuous. Don't that mean like... And the fact that you've come here with her, you're going to die. Get it, lad. Uh, you just better hope that when I erupt, you don't end up on the ceiling. This isn't a scary movie. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like... If this goes where I think it's going, I'm going to have to do quite a bit of editing to not see any of this. Neither do I. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh? You want to get with the real man? No. Do you? Oh, jeez, <laughs> oh, Jody, you scared me. Hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he's about to die. What's in the trunk? You're dead. Maybe mine. Oh my god! Okay then. So... He's the right baby, I'm gonna assume. 
Okay, honestly, for a minute, love, I thought it was you. I'm not going to lie, I thought you were the killer. I apologise. But you did go a bit creepy there, for some reason. I will shut up! I'll kill you, Lester! Then we saw a car broke down on this side of the road. It was Laura Lee. Okay. I can already see where this is going. Well, you know what happened. Yeah, well, I don't remember, so keep going. He threw me on top of her. But I knew what I was doing. Well, I'll be editing that out. Did you know that she was in love with you, Brad? Oh, yeah. Love letters. And after you raped her, there was no one to tell. Except me. very difficult to look like the one person in the world your mother loves and hates the most. We have the same color eyes. No. Dad. Wow. Something wrong with your mouth, Kenny? What do you want? <laughs> Why are you wearing lipstick? Because it makes me pretty. <laughs> As if he's actually going to be the hero that saves the day. Oh shit! Wow. Okay, so he's dead. Huh? The the lodge. Yeah, take him to the lodge. Take him to where all the other kids are having sex. Cause surely he won't kill any of them. I can't believe you killed the sheriff. At least he didn't kill the deputy. Poppy, over. You got a cop, come on. This is my post, I can't just split. Oh! God damn it! God, just missed! Uh. He's just slicing people. Oh! 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 We don't know how many people have died here. Oh! Oh. You kill Kenny, you bastard. Oh. Oh. It's over his Oh. His eyes move. No. Yeah. Bit overkill. We all go a little mad sometimes. Congratulations, you're the new sheriff. And after all this, you can think of nothing else to tell me? As I think you've asked my daughter enough. As if she's keeping all the secrets. Oh, well. I don't think this movie got a sequel. Okay. So that was Cherry Falls. I liked the premise of that. 
I like the idea that it you know it was the opposite to the whole you know virgin survive horror movies and this virgins die they like flip that on its head the killer I kind of half guessed I didn't guess it was going to be him or a man I just knew that it was going to be the child of the person I mean I only guessed it like halfway through the film when they decided that it was the Laura Lee uh, and then when they mentioned rape I was like rape baby rape baby so I guess that bit I didn't guess the gender or person but um I didn't mind the premise I didn't like a lot of the acting the acting felt a bit like it was a bit flat some of the acting in that especially from the likes of you know is it Michael Bean is that his name Bine Bean that from Aliens it just felt like his acting was a bit I this is a, a rare thing for me because I can't decide whether I actually liked that or if I didn't. It's not a film I would watch again in a hurry. But it's also not a film that I would never watch again. And I only really have a thumbs up and a thumbs down. I don't have like a side thumb thing going on. But if I was going to go off the likes of like comparing that to previous movies like Scream franchise, Halloween, you know, it's better than some of the later Halloween movies, it's better than some of the later Nightmare on Elm Street movies, to me, in my opinion, because let's not forget that bit, but I do not think it was a great film, I don't think it was a good film, so I am going to give that a thumbs down. In terms of an overall aspect of it, you know, it was it's just some of it seemed a bit like the red, the unnecessary red herrings in it, where it was kind of obvious that it wasn't going to be them. But they do that in all horror movies. I mean, the new screen movie had uh, a character called Vince as a red herring for all of about five minutes before he was brutally murdered. So, but no, it's. It's a film, I suppose. I'd, I'd I'd still recommend it. I suppose if you're just up for like a cheap slasher, low budget, fun, I suppose movie. Like if you just want to watch something new that you've never seen before and want to like a good slasher. Not that it is a good slasher. I just meant like in the aspect of slashers. <laughs> but um, so I'd recommend giving it a watch. You should always give it any film a watch because what someone might not like you may like so always give anything a watch really like i've watched uh i watched tarzan last video uh and i didn't think i'd like that but i did and i don't usually like black and white movie, black and white movies so it's all a matter of opinion preference but um yeah in my opinion i don't think this was a good movie so i'm gonna give that a thumbs down like i said uh and yet yeah, next week I've not decided yet, as of yet. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, click that like button, and turn on the little bell notification -y thingy so you notify when we post, which should be every Monday, unless I do a trailer reveal, which is a random day of when the trailer is, because I'll try and do it same day. Uh, we will see you next time.